Well, there's a lot of work going on in Palace Green Library to improve the uh, facilities of the site. And uh, during the building work, uh, some human remains were found. Now, uh, human remains means you've got to stop and uh, sort things out properly. So um, the archaeologist who discovered them reported the, uh, uh, the discovery. We got a license from the Ministry of Justice to uh, uh, remove them. And we've been carrying out an excavation to uh, determine just what's happened there. We initially thought that they were part of the uh, graveyard that lies in front of the cathedral, but uh, uh, there's something rather unusual about this group of burials. There's a whole lot of people uh, in one or two largish um, graves rather than individuals carefully laid out. At the moment we have identified 18 individuals and uh, I'm fairly sure that there will be more to come because they're piled one on top of another. We seem to have um, numerous people roughly in the same alignment, but in another part of the site on a different alignment, but equally untidily. We have um, mostly adults. We have uh, one uh, juvenile. Uh, so we can't really say what the population um, is, you know, where they come from, who they are, or even why they're buried there. But we hope that uh, in the post-excavation process, there's a lot of different techniques can be applied. We'll wring some more of the story out. I mean, it might be all sorts of things. It might be the result of uh, uh, disease or some other calamity. There's all sorts of possible explanations, but uh, we need to get the bones back to the lab, examine them closely and see if we can determine what's gone on.